Is it time to buy or sell Lucid stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Lucid. Our initial report was published on our website on Monday, April 17, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since April 14, 2023, our system has ranked Lucid as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 3.39. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Surprisingly, the stock has performed better than our system predicted, with a gain of 2.85%. This translates to an average return of 1.42% per day since it was listed as sell candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 23.74% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 39.88% and minus 3.21%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 59.03% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 88.90% and minus 49.42%. This translates to a price range of $0.88 cents to $4.02 after a year. Our latest daily update for Lucid includes the headline, Lucid stock price ended on $7.95 on Monday after gaining 2.85%. The Lucid stock price gained 2.85% on the last trading day, Monday, April 17, 2023, rising from $7.73 to $7.95. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 5.01% from a day low at $7.59 to a day high of $7.97. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a minus 1.12% loss for the last two weeks. Volume fell on the last day by minus 17 million shares and in total, 14 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $108.27 million. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $21.87, and the lowest price was $6.09. Currently, the price is 63.65%, or $13.92, below the 52-week high and 87.74%, or $56.91, below the all-time high on February 18, 2021, when the price reached $64.86. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Wednesday, November 30, 2022, Evercore ISI set a price target of 12. On Wednesday, November 30, 2022, Evercore ISI set a price target of 12. On Wednesday, November 30, 2022, Evercore ISI set a price target of 12. Analysts have given Lucid stock a general buy rating. They rate the PE ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Lucid. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Wednesday, March 15, 2023, and so far it has risen 7.43%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The Lucid stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $8.04 and $8.07. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals.
Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, by signal 23 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 5 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 3 days ago. Long-term moving average, by signal 6 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 36 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 43 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 38 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Lucid Lucid finds support from accumulated volume at $7.73 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $0.380 between high and low, or 5.01%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 5.95%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Lucid, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the Price to Earnings Ratio, or P.E. Ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A relatively low P.E. ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. In other news, the next earnings report for Q1 2023 is expected on May 04, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at dash $0.370. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Lucid. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Lucid is at $8.19. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Lucid encounters its first support level at $7.73. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Lucid from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On March 5, 2023, Rollins and Peter Dorr conducted an insider sell of 467,042 shares of Class A common stock. On March 5, 2023, Bell Michael conducted an insider sell of 53,389 shares of Class A common stock. On March 5, 2023, Bach Eric conducted an insider sell of 33,362 shares of Class A common stock. On March 5, 2023, Dingra Goggin conducted an insider sell of 5,633 shares of Class A common stock. On March 5, 2023, House Sherry and conducted an insider sell of 30,952 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 95 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 91.451. Overall, Insiders purchased 1,155,614,938 shares and sold 5,376,458 shares in the last 95 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Lucid stock a good buy? Lucid holds several negative signals and is within a very wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Tuesday, April 18th, we expect Lucid to open down $0.117 and start trading at $7.83. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, 
and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.